Certainly Dan Colco reminded us about why he won the Cy Young a couple of years ago with the Detroit Tigers. You and I and Ray have seen three no-hitters now in a 162-game span. Not bad, huh? Pretty special stuff, Johnny. Two of them from Max Scherzer in the same year. Scherzer was on point last night, as he has been for most of the season, barring a stretch in the second half. And kind of a cool thing going into the start, Scherzer always tries to throw a side session wherever the Nationals are. If they're on the road sometimes during an off day, he has to do it in different spots. Here in New York, it was pouring down rain the other day. Scherzer needed to get in his side session in the hotel. Octavio Martinez, the Nats bullpen, catcher crouched down in a hallway Scherzer threw his bullpen session to him there tweeted out pictures of it and then after the game last night said looks like all my bullpens will be at the team hotel from now on so a cool thing there for Max Scherzer to have to you know kind of get in his side work indoors in the hotel uh, and it worked out okay for him you might need to find a way Johnny to, to get in a hotel in DC even uh, to make that happen going forward Bryce Harper got hit in the shin yesterday in that first game able to finish it out but now what's the status for Bryce in a very important game today up in New York for him. He's in the lineup, Johnny. That's good news. He was really hurt and pretty good after game one yesterday. Said that that 97 mile an hour fastball from Noah Syndergaard felt like it went through his leg. It was hurting on the other side of the shin. That's how bad that yeah, that bell kind of hurt and, and how well it squared him up on that shin. Sat out game two in the lineup today for game three. And as you said, a big one for Bryce. One RBI short of 100, which he'd really like to get to. Just percentage points above D. Gordon for the best batting average average in the National League. Two important statistical things on the line for Bryce here today. We'd love to see him get both of those milestones. And also today being the curtain coming down in the regular season for the ball club. 83 wins already. That's the fourth consecutive season with a winning record. But still a lot of questions for the offseason. Number one, a lot of the free agents, are they going to stay? They're going to go. Uh, the managerial situation, everybody's talking about that. It's going to be a very interesting uh, next couple of months. It will, Johnny, and Mike Rizzo acknowledged that a little bit ago when we were talking to him just outside the Nationals' dugout, said it's going to be a busy offseason. It's going to be an interesting offseason. The Nationals have a lot of key free agents that will hit the open market, and they're going to have some holes to fill, most notably, I think, in the bullpen. This is a bullpen that, you know, probably did not perform to the level that Mike Rizzo expected it to this year. They certainly had some injuries with guys like Craig Stammen, Aaron Barrett going down with various health issues, but also just kind of underperformance from from a number of guys as well. So you look towards 2016, Felipe Rivero really came on this year, picked up a couple saves the last few days. He's going to be a fixture there. Blake Trinan will be a fixture. Craig Stammen hopefully will be fully healthy entering spring training next year. So those are three guys that we can expect to be back, but who might not be back? Jonathan Papelbon, his situation is very much up in the air. Drew Storen, the Nationals might potentially look to trade him this offseason. Um, th th there's going to be a lot of work for Mike Rizzo to do there, and how does he go about filling those holes? Does he maybe look to dangle a guy like Yunel Escobar, who had a really strong offensive year this year? Maybe try and get some proven bullpen help there. There are not going to be a ton of relief options on the market that Mike Rizzo could get at a decent price. He's got some holes to fill in that bullpen core, and it'll be very interesting to see how he addresses that. Dan, I think I can speak for every Nationals fan, certainly speaking for Ray and I. It's been a great pleasure having you with us again this year, whether you've been on the field, whether you've been in the dugout, when it's raining outside, of course, you stack, you go to the dugout so you don't get wet. It could be on a slide in Milwaukee, could be in, who, who knows? You've been all over the place. You've done a fabulous job, and let's do it again next year. Thank you very much, Johnny. It's been a blast being alongside you guys as well.